Robin Thicke has been accused of physically abusing his six-year-old son. New documents filed by Robin's ex-wife Paula Patton even allege that the couple's son Julian told his teachers that his father spanked and punched him on numerous occasions and that the school reported his comments to Los Angeles County Department of Children and Family Services on January 3rd. And get this, the documents go on to allege that Paula even stopped Robin from seeing their son, telling him that Julian is scared of him. She went on to file an emergency restraining order, which states Robin can only see their son during daytime supervised visits. But the Blurred Line singer has responded with his own documents, claiming that both he and Paula agreed on punishment that was consistent with the law. Robin said that on rare occasions, he would use light spanking and that he has never exceeded age-appropriate discipline. Thicke then goes on to claim that Patton's allegations were a result of not being invited to his father, Alan Thicke's funeral. While Khloe Kardashian remains focused on helping others achieve their revenge body, it would seem like her ex-husband, Lamar Odom, wants anything but revenge. In fact, he still refers to his wife on the TV show The Doctors and makes it clear that he wants to rekindle their failed marriage. Lamar is asked, going forward, when you look at your life ahead of you, what are you looking forward to? And the former NBA player responds, um, honestly, I want my wife back. He received cheers in the audience for his confession, but we can't help but feel a little heartbroken because it seems that his former better half, Chloe, has put all of her efforts into moving on. In 2015, Chloe rushed to be by his side after he nearly died from an overdose in a Nevada brothel after dwindling away his basketball career and allegedly smoking crack. Lamar's troubles didn't do him any favors. We'll see how Chloe responds now that Lamar has put the ball in her court. It's true that Miley Cyrus and Liam Hemsworth aren't the most public couple in the world, but now that Liam is celebrating his 27th birthday, Miley couldn't help but let her millions of followers on Instagram hear her love. She posted a fun picture saying, Happiest birthday ever to my favorite being ever, ever, ever. You have been my best friend since the day we met. I am beyond lucky to share so animals with you. I love you. Pretty sure she meant so many, but whatever, the sentiment is real. Meanwhile, Liam just posted a funny picture of this dog, but we're sure he feels the same. Actually, it's rumored that Miley and Liam have already tied the knot. It's speculated that both the Cyrus and Hemsworth families were all in the San Diego area around New Year's Eve, which may have been a perfect time for a secret ceremony. But we'll have to deal with happy birthdays for now. Forget the weekend, Bella Hadid gets down on the weeknights. Bella posed in a one-piece with the caption, Good night, love and light to you all, happy to be home. Of course, people couldn't help but notice her post came after Selena Gomez's thong shot hit the internet. And now that Selena is dating Bella's ex the weekend, you can see why people are suspicious. The caption suggests that Bella was just leaving a message to her fans, but perhaps she is hoping her ex gets a glimpse of what he's missing. That is, if he can even notice anyone other than Selena. Us Magazine reports that the new couple came out and they they were so happy. They were hugging and kissing. Selena was all over him. She looked amazing and so incredibly happy and in love. Okay, maybe Bella has a reason to want to stop following Selena on Instagram. So Haley Baldwin and Kendall Jenner were having a normal night in New York City, but they made a quick stop at CVS to buy shaving cream to spray at the paparazzi. Yep, check out these shots of Haley spraying down the cameraman as she made her way through the Big Apple. We're not quite sure what set her off, but we can imagine she was tired of all the flashes in her face. While at the store, you can see Haley buying a few cans of the shaving gel, and to be honest, you can kind of see that she looks up to no good. And when she left the store, she let it rip. For the record, it appears that Kendall didn't partake in the shaving cream attack, but it seems like it was a hairy situation. Guess these kinds of things happen. Here she comes, Mrs. Reality TV America. Kim Kardashian is back in Dubai, making her first international trip since her robbery in Paris. This time, Kim has landed somewhere a little more luxurious. If you haven't seen the pictures of where she's staying, here's a glimpse of Atlantis, the palm in Dubai. Not too shabby. And even after a 16-plus hours flight from Los Angeles, Kim looks more than happy to be in the resort and back in business filming her reality TV show. As Kim smiles and waves at her excited fans, we couldn't help but notice there are two guys on either side of Kim who are certainly up to zero funny business. Those bodyguards look alert. We're sure Kim is there for some official business, but afterwards, check out how fun that water park looks. Hopefully this getaway will be a whole lot more pleasurable than her last one. I just got to do it real
That's Jessica Simpson at Los Angeles International Airport, and as you can see, she had her family in tow. The singer and former reality star was surrounded by cameras and autograph collectors, and even though she had a flight to catch, she still had a few moments to sign and smile for the cameras. Of course, we just had to know what she thought about Donald Trump. You look lovely, Jessica. Thank you. Any, any advice for Donald Trump? Be the president. So there you have it, simple and sweet. But with someone like Jessica Simpson, we kind of expected that. She's not one to filter her feelings and give some long-winded and rehearsed answer. She's a one of a kind, and that's why we love her. Jessica is still believed to be a supporter of the Republican Party, but we don't know if she's a supporter of the president-elect. But she sure knows how to offer him good advice. Everyone knows those gossip magazines at the grocery store are old news. That's why we give you the best celebrity stories and headlines on a daily basis. So sit back, watch, and be sure to like and subscribe.